<clears throat> first. There was a time not that long ago where I just couldn't face the comment section of my videos. Because I knew once I went there, my entire day would be ruined. That'd be it. And it's not because I don't have the courage to see hundreds of people all simultaneously calling me an assaholic bitch. It's more because it makes me sad. I try to put myself into their shoes. I try to rationalize why some of these people write the things they do. But I, I just can't do it. I don't make videos to try to be controversial. I don't really want to piss anyone off. But these comment sections, no matter what you do, I, I mean really. And it's a shame too, because the majority of the time I get healthy amount of perfectly normal, kind, and reasonable comments. But all it takes is that one. All you need is that one horrible comment that says, This video was boring. And even despite the fact they're in an overwhelming minority, you can't help but focus and obsess on that one ultimately insignificant comment. And you know what? It's not even that I don't enjoy some of the ludicrous comments. Hell, I've even made an entire series off the weirdest and funniest ones I've gotten. I've been debating with myself with what type of comment is the absolute worst. The most insulting and awful. The one that makes you sigh when you see it. Of course you have the absurd abundance of BURST related comments. It's even developed into its own weird little YouTube sub subculture, where you have about 50 people who all think they were the first to comment on the video but almost never actually were first. And then you have the people who hate first comments so much that they comment about how they hate first comments which in itself is almost worse. Then on nearly every comment section, there's a huge argument spreading over hundreds of comments that's broken out over something completely unrelated to the actual video, usually to do with religion or bronies. And let us not forget the latest YouTube comment trend, which obviously is constantly changing and evolving, and it's probably already out of date. Like one of the popular ones at the moment is that stupid Darude Sandstorm comment, when you post a link to the Sandstorm song when someone asks what the name of the song in the video is. By the way, that stopped being funny even before it was a thing that existed. Another common thing for people to do is to comment on the likes or dislikes. 400 dislikes! Okay, you just commented on something literally everyone who's watched the video has already seen. Why? You also get a lot of people who go onto videos of something they know in advance they do not like, but still sit there and start huge comment wars anyway. I don't think people realize that interacting with a video is the worst thing they can do if they don't like it. If there's a YouTuber that you don't like and you dislike their content, the most effective thing you can do is to not interact with them at all. Don't go and dislike or comment on their videos, that actually helps them. Thumbs up if you think this video is the worst thing ever. What? Why would I do that? I'm eight years old and I love Elvis. I know what good music is. Why do we need to know this? I liked this song before it was in an Assassin's Creed trailer. And? Who gives a fuck? Please don't read. In 1945, a man killed a pigeon and the pigeon actually survived but flew around without a head and pecked people to death until it spread the pigeon virus and started turning people into pigeons. The government tried to cover it up, but I know the truth. Copy and paste this comment ten times if you don't want the headless pigeon to come into your house at night and peck you to death. It's like people see the option to comment on the video and feel obliged to just spew their mind onto the page just because they have the option to do so. Because it's there. But I guess if everyone in the comments actually had their own thoughts and opinions without spewing comments that have been repeated more times than I've said the word comment in this video, the comment section would be a dangerous place filled with useful advice and other helpful things that would reflect all that is good with mankind. It's actually gotten to the point now where I'll type out long responses to someone that's pissed me off. Then I just sit there and reread it a couple of times. Go get a drink of water, reread it again, contemplate suicide, then delete the comment because it wouldn't be worth the shit it cause. And I urge all you people to do the same. Apart from the contemplating suicide bit. People don't drink enough water nowadays. Hey, what are you doing? I'm commenting on your new shitty video. You know, ever since you changed into that bloke from Game of Thrones, you've been a real asshole. What did you fucking say to me? I'll come over there and I'll kick you right in the dick. Um, uh... So what did you comment? This vid is shittier than a shitty pile of duck shit. Yeah, it is. What the hell is wrong with you? So those are my thoughts on YouTube comments. They really are pretty nasty sometimes. Usually pretty stupid though. So did I miss any popular types of comment trends? Or was I completely wrong or right on the ball? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye. Please don't read. In 1945, a man killed a pigeon and the pigeon actually survived but flew around without a head and pecked people to death until it spread the pigeon virus and people started turning into pigeons. The government tried to cover it up but I know the truth. Copy and paste this comment ten times if you don't want a headless pigeon to come into your house at night and peck you to death.